Welcome to Sarah's Prismatic Musings. I am going to be making some autoimmune protocol friendly ice cream today. So we will be using coconut milk. So recipes, you can make either use one can or two cans. Two cans, it's going to have a lot of leftover so you don't have to keep making it every day. I'm just gonna do like a basic, I know it's a little overkill, but we bought a lot of these coconut chips. So we're gonna add these. We use maple syrup. My friend's family uh, makes this in Vermont. So gotta use that. And then we use vanilla powder because on AIP you shouldn't use the vanilla extract because it has alcohol. So vanilla powder will be what we use. Now in the recipes, if you find it online, it's gonna say two thirds cup of sweetener of maple syrup. That's way too much. So we're just gonna use one third cup. While you're on the AIP diet, coconut and sweet potatoes will be your friend. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna be hungry all the time. When we lived in Pierce, Arizona, there was a little shop called Under His Wings 333, and they made their own ice cream. They didn't add sugar. Yes, they used dairy, it was dairy, but it was so good. And, um, I was really missing having ice cream and growing up in Vermont, we get really good creamies, especially maple creamies. Really miss those. <laughs> blessed to be able to have Vermont maple syrup. The friends of the family send us this and then my family sends us maple syrup all the time too. <laughs> so we do one cup of the coconut flakes. Now we blend this up just because it's easier. Uh, whatever ingredients you can do. Uh, we did a lime one which kind of tasted like Italian ice. That one was pretty good. This one's more savory. So one cup coconut. And then this says two tablespoons of vanilla. So you can hand whisk. We just blend it. It takes less time. It takes 25 seconds to blend it up. You need to get um, everything under the size of um, like a chocolate chip for the ice cream maker so you don't break the ice cream maker. We got this ice cream maker for about $50 uh, plus tax on Amazon. I love that it's pink. I wish we could get a pink coffee espresso maker. Now, they'll tell you you want to turn this on, which you do. You want to have it turned on before you put your mixture in. Now, if you wanted to, you could put like maybe a cup of mangoes or banana or whatever that you want. We made the mistake one time of we put the ingredients in and then tried to turn it on. The ingredients were all, it was clogging this up. So it stuck. We had to defrost everything and then redo it. So you're going to let this turn for 25 minutes. And actually, the instructions say 25 minutes, but we found that 20 minutes with the two cups is actually perfect, at least for this ice cream maker. I'm not sure the size of it, but 
when we did this for 25 minutes the first time, it was overflowing. So we found that 20 minutes is the sweet spot. We'll see you again in 25 minutes. Look at how yummy this looks, you guys. I'm gonna take a bite. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Next time I'm going to make pumpkin spice syrup because the syrup that we bought from Marshall's tasted disgusting, it smelled disgusting. We returned it. So I'm gonna be making homemade pumpkin spice latte. See you next time, bye guys.